Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you all my designer blazers slash jackets that are in my collection. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. So I have this rack of jackets over here and I'm just going to show them to you. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in total to show you. So we'll start off with the first one here. So this jacket is actually a tweed jacket and it's like a blazer kind of style. It's from Celine and I got this I think last year in Paris and it's very very nice. It's like in this like really thick like tweed material and then on the sleeve here there are some like Celine buttons, gold buttons that you can see it's very pretty and then the front of the jacket also comes with like three gold buttons over here that you can button on this side as well and there are also like pockets here but I think they're like thick pockets either that or I have not cut it off so I don't really use these pockets over here so it's kind of like a crop style like just going to try it on for you so just for reference I'm 1.6 meters um, so just for you to give a gauge so it's quite cropped it comes up to here and then it just sits really nicely on your body and even the sleeves come up to a really nice spot on your arm itself so that you know you're not like kind of like drowning in it or anything although I would say that I rarely use these buttons on this blazer but you could if you want to so it kind of becomes like a crop top kind of thing so it's really nice but I kind of like just prefer the look of it like open and unbuttoned so this is just up to your preference but I feel like it's a very like versatile jacket as such so I kind of prefer the look of it like you know open so this jacket I actually got it in a size 34 it's a really nice like just very fitted and it comes with like um, padded shoulders as well so it looks really really like nice I love the fact that you can wear this for like formal occasions you can casual it down like by just wearing jeans itself like what I'm wearing today so it's really really nice and then at the back it just looks like that I love the fact that at the bottom over here it's like a curve like it curves in as well so it's just really really nice and made very well the only thing is that because this is a tweed jacket and it's like quite a thick knit so if you were to wear it um, in Singapore it's gonna be really really hot so I haven't really like got much wear out of this I will wear it when I'm indoors as much as possible I'm going to try and include the make of the jacket in the description box down below so that you can check but this one is 78% wool 13% uh, cotton 9% polyamide and the lining is actually 100% viscose so it's viscose so the thing is if it's silk it will definitely feel much better on your body which I'm going to show you in the next jacket over here but yeah this one tends to get a little bit like stuffy and hot so you can't wear it very long in like a very hot climate so just something for you to take note of so but this is really really classy and I love it it's by Celine and it's just in a really like classic Celine style so yes this is the very first jacket okay moving on to the next jacket this one is a houndstoof jacket and this one is by Chanel it's actually a vintage style and I actually got this in Paris last year as well at like a vintage thrift store it's not really like a thrift store the store name is actually called Celia Darling and I really really like that store a lot so this time around when I went back to Paris I actually tried to visit it but it was closed so I was kind of like upset about it but anyways this jacket I got it over there subsequently when I came back I tried to find this on Farfetch and they were actually selling it on Farfetch uh, in their pre-love section and I think the pricing was pretty good as well it was like in the thousand ish range so I feel like it's something that you can keep a look out for so on the sleeves there are actually like buttons over here and it also has the houndstooth like tweed on it and it's just really like classic Chanel like tweed and then at the back there is also like this kind of like 
um, what do you call that? Like a belt-ish kind of thing, but it's not really a belt either. <laughs> it kind of connects to the front and there is a button over here as well. So there is no like belt whatsoever to cinch in the jacket. It's just like, like kind of like a blazer kind of style. So this one, actually the labels are already torn off, but I'm very sure that the inside inner lining is actually silk. And I can attest to that because even wearing this on itself feels much more comfortable than the Celine one already. It's um, very cooling, so even if I wear this in like a humid climate, right, I don't feel hot. So I can wear this in the humid climate for a really long time without feeling hot, even though it's like a tweed knit jacket. So I think that's something to take note of because I never knew what was the difference and what the importance of like a silk lining was until I bought these two jackets and then I could actually really tell the difference. So I feel like if you want to have a tweed jacket that you can wear in like a humid climate, definitely go for one with like a silk lining. Although it's kind of hard to find because I think, I feel like they only do it in Chanel and you know Chanel jackets are just really expensive. So um, yeah, just something to take note of. And then this one actually comes with three quarter sleeves, so it's kind of like shorter. It doesn't go all the way out, which I kind of like about it as well. Cause like then you can see like the jewelry that you're wearing, you can see the watch that you're wearing as well. So I feel like kind of like just elevates your wardrobe a little bit. I feel like it's also a little bit casual. So you can actually make this quite formal. You can pair this with like a black dress. You can pair this with like, I don't know, like just a more formal look. Or you can like casual it down as well with just like a t-shirt and jeans, which is normally what I'm wearing. So this is it. And then you can just add like maybe a belt here, like a Chanel belt as well. With a gold buckle. I think that will look really nice. So this is the Chanel jacket and the lapels actually just folds out like that which I really really like about it as well and then there is like very very intricate like weaving going on and then the even the sleeves kind of like go up like that so it's very very nice so this jacket doesn't come with padded shoulders so it's a little bit more like carefree and slung so you can just wear it like that I'm not sure if I'll include mod shots, but here they are. I'm just going to show you like that. So this is the Chanel jacket that I really, really love. And I feel like I got a lot of wear out of this jacket as well. Okay, the next blazer I want to show you is actually from Yves Saint Laurent. It even has the old stamping. So now Yves Saint Laurent is just called Saint Laurent but this is an older variation so this is still called Yves Saint Laurent and it's essentially like a grey and white pinstripe um, blazer you call it it has really really like oversized and this is also like just like an oversized look um, it also doesn't have its label anymore but I would say that the inner lining actually is like a blend of silk and like polyamide or viscose so it's not like 100% like silk or anything but it just feels really nice and like cooling as well so yeah I brought this on my recent trip to like um, Europe and I got so much wear out of it because it was cold and I just really really like the look of it so it's quite oversized a bit like your Frankie shop blazers I would say so I love the fact that it's oversized as well and then it has like not a very significant shoulder padding but some shoulder padding here and I love that the lapels are huge as well. There is also a button here that you can button down which I did on certain occasions and there are two pockets here which are so useful because like when it's cold you can just put your hands in it and it's just very very chic looking and the sleeves actually come up to quite a nice length on my arm over here so it doesn't like overpower my arms or anything 
I have not gotten this like altered or anything but I just feel like it fits and this one I actually also got it from the Paris store which is called Celia Darling I'm going to link their shop down below because I really really like that shop what I really like about this vintage shop is that it's very curated so it's not very messy you know there are some thrift vintage stores in Paris where it's, they just like throw things in and then you find whatever you want inside there's a mix of like designer and like non-designer but I feel like in this shop they are mostly designer and it's very very curated they are hung nicely on a shelf like that so I think that's what I really like about the store because they already kind of like curate certain pieces for you so definitely highly recommend that store so I just really really like this jacket it's very very comfortable I also wear it in Singapore as well because it's kind of like cooling so yeah this is how it looks I usually just wear it open but then recently I went to Crazy Horse Paris and I paired this with like just like a bra top below and then like a grey mini skirt and I thought this look was super chic I'm just going to include a photo here um, so yeah I just really really like this jacket as well and I think I got it for a steal if I'm not wrong I think I only paid like a hundred plus dollars for this jacket even though it's like designer and all that so so I really highly recommend you shop thrifted vintage if you're ever in Paris because they have so many so many like nice pieces so definitely just like browse and search around you know for those of you who are new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle. So if you enjoy this kind of videos, do consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, I'm going to move on into my denim pieces. So I have three denim pieces over here. Um, two are by Loewe. So this is my favorite one, which is this Loewe patchwork denim jacket. I love this jacket. If you follow me on Instagram or like on YouTube, you will know that I actually have talked about this like a million times I feel like this jacket is just the quintessential denim jacket that everyone should have it's very very slouchy and like just really comfortable I love it so much I actually kind of like folded and cuffed the sleeve as such but if not you can just leave it down but because it's covering my arm a little bit so I decided to just cuff it up which I kind of like the look as well but if you bring it down there is actually like a loewe button over here so you can see it yeah and then there is also like an anagram like patchwork this is made of leather it's actually a real pocket so sometimes I have stuffed things inside before but don't forget to take it out because like sometimes I just forget that things are there and then it comes with like buttons over here and there are also two really really like big pockets over here which I like to just put my hands in and then at the side there is also like these string ties that you can just tie it up so that it kind of like creates like a nice look over here as well and then I'm just going to step up over here so it kind of creates like a nice like interest look over here and the back of this jacket is actually longer than the front so it kind of covers your like bum a little bit so it's just really nice I like wearing this on the plane especially because like you know you just want to be comfortable on the plane and then at the back it just looks like that so very very like nice and comfortable I love that this denim is very soft it's not super structured so it's very like slouchy and just really molds to your body so that's what I really like about this jacket highly recommend you get this jacket because it's so soft and I just really love the light wash of this denim as well so yeah I have only good things to say about this jacket actually so this is by Loewe so just for sizing reference I'm wearing the size 32 so just note that this jacket can be like be a little bit oversized and I've worn it so much such that it, like at the back here you know because of sweat and all that there's like yellowing going on but the thing is I can't really like I only can dry clean this jacket because there is a leather patch over here 
so you can't really like throw it in the washing machine or anything so I haven't really like done like a dry clean for this but I feel like for denim jackets you don't really need to like dry clean as much because they're just meant to be worn you know and the longer you wear them the slouchier it gets so I really like that about this jacket as well and then the next denim jacket is also by Loewe this is like a slightly different kind of like shape and denim so the top here this denim feels a little bit more rigid for sure so this one is in size 36 so different denim jackets you have to kind of like see what is the style because if it's like oversized then you might want to size down if it's like slightly more structured like this one then you might want to size up <laughs> so this is size 36 and it just looks like that so this jacket is actually part of their trom oil kind of like design so it has half like light denim and then like half dark denim which i thought was really interesting i actually really like the look i got this jacket on a discount i think it was in the sale because i refused to pay full price for it so when it was time for a sale i actually searched for this jacket and it popped up so i think i got this for like 40 percent off or something like that so it's really nice so it also comes with like the loewe buttons over here so the loewe buttons are mainly silver which is not something that i normally wear i usually have like go hardware bags but i don't really mind that these are in silver actually so this one also has like a fake pocket over here no 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 it's actually real so you can actually open this up oh let me it's just really rigid and then there is like an actual pocket over here that you can like put things in but obviously i rarely do it's just like for decoration purposes and then at the back here it just looks like that and then there is there is like a ladder bit at the back here that says loewe if i'm not wrong let me just check yes it just says like loewe over here in like a leather patch as well so this one also has a leather patch so you can't like throw it into the washing machine whatsoever um, i would say that this one i have not worn as much because it's just a little bit harder to wear considering that the denim is so much more rigid um, feel like you need to be in certain places to wear this jacket but it's still a very like sort of casual look itself so i really like that about it so this is the lower day jacket as well the sleeves come up to quite long so what i normally do is that i will just like kind of target so it has this like slouchy look but as you're walking then it will just come down again and then you just need to keep doing this tugging motion so just something to bear in mind as well this is past season if i'm not wrong i got it last year um i think at the end of the year when they were doing like kind of like a sale thing like near black friday so as usual this one at the back here also has some yellowing so just something for you to take note of because it's fabric after all okay moving on to the last denim jacket i have this is actually oh man okay i really need to finish this video up because i need to check out but anyway this last denim jacket is by balenciaga i have had this for quite a while now and then at the back it's just like it says balenciaga over here this one i actually got it from vestier or is it vestier or carousel i think vestier it's because i was hunting for this particular one it's in this really like nice interesting denim wash like a bit like tie-dyed ombre kind of style and i love the fact that this one is very very oversized and then at the bottom here there's like some detail as well and then it also has buttons but i just cuff the sleeve up as usual it has this like bronzy kind of like button over here and then at the back it's also just like this nice wash color itself is just like slightly frayed it's part of the design it's not that it's like mangled up or anything so I'm just going to wear this for you. I normally wear this like overseas when I'm traveling. So because it's also like a really huge like oversized kind of look. And it keeps you kind of warm I guess. So this one looks like that. It's very very oversized. And I just love and adore the look of this. 
very big sleeves as well so it looks like that and then yeah just really like the look of it if you go to the cinemas often, I feel like this is great because you just like wrap yourself up in this it kind of looks like a blanket of some sort so really really nice jacket as well oh and then the inside also has pockets over here so you can like stuff things in as well if you really wanted to and then on the outer layer there are also pockets as well and then as usual I left things in the pocket which I need to throw so this is the denim jacket if I can I'm just going to include some images over here as well for you so this is my denim jacket by Balenciaga and this is the last denim jacket I have to show you okay, last but not least I also have this kind of like fabric tactile material and this is by Fendi it's part of the Fendi slash Versace like what they call it the Fendace collection so it's actually a reversible jacket itself so one side actually comes with this uh, Versace print and then the other one is just like a normal pink color Fendi print so on the Versace side it actually looks like that I love this jacket for travel especially because it's kind of like um, what do you call that like waterproof sort of so it kind of like keeps the water out and then I also love the fact that this jacket comes with a hood oh my god so every time it's raining I just put a hood up and I feel like when you're traveling especially to like cold rainy climates it's very important to bring a jacket with a hood because like it's just really important to like keep your head dry especially so this one has pockets as well and it comes like that it's very very loose and it's also very cropped off at the bottom over here I love that this one is kind of loud you know it comes with this yellow like Fendi print but it's just really really nice and these are the details on the zip itself it comes with the Versace um, kind of like emblem over here the Medusa emblem and then you can actually flip this around very easily doesn't take you that much effort to turn it around which is what I really like about it and then you can wear it on the just the pink Fendi side to if you don't want to seem so loud and then it also looks like a jacket that you can zip up as well yeah here you go so you can also zip up this jacket like that and then there's just like a little bit of the Fendi Versace print like peeking through I think that's very nice so this is the Fendi jacket I really love the fact that this is reversible because it's like sort of like a two-in-one jacket so I thought it was very value for money <laughs> so this is the Fendi jacket that I have for you today I think the hood is actually removable yeah the hood is actually removable you can use a zip to like zip out the entire thing so if you don't like the look of the hood you can totally take it out it also comes with this like little things here where you can like tighten the hood if you really wanted to so this is the Fendi jacket that I have I come to the end of my video I hope you enjoyed seeing my entire like designer blazer jacket collection because I really think that I have a nice collection over here I'm not sure if I will ever add more and if I ever do I feel like I would thrift them and go to like a vintage store to actually get these jackets because they are a bit more affordable that way especially like the Chanel and the Yves Saint Laurent so just something for you to consider and like ponder upon if you're ever thinking of getting like a designer jacket or blazer so I hope you learned something today and if you like this video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I would love if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!